Hi guys, Moon Titan here. Today I have gathered you here not to discuss the freshly released trailer of the 42nd episode of Skibidi Toilet Multiverse, but rather, not only it, but in general, absolutely all the information about the episode. And believe me, these are not only spoilers, not only the trailer and deleted scenes of the fourth special episode, but much more. And especially for you, I collected it from all corners of the World Wide Web and presented it in this video. So in my opinion, it deserves a like and subscription, because our next goal Goal is 70,000 subscribers. Okay, I don't dare to delay any longer. Enjoy watching. Obviously, we need to start from the beginning. The 42nd episode of Skibidi Toilet Multiverse, according to T-Rex, will last more than 20 minutes and will begin a new and best arc in the series. And because it's so long, it's coming out in a decent amount of time after the last video, and I think it's not going to be 20 minutes. It's going to be 23 to 25 minutes, because usually when Dom Studio says something about the length of an episode, when it comes out, it turns out that it's a few minutes longer. And the arc he has to start is, of course, the arc of Master, as well as of Sinister. By the way, we will talk about both of them today. Before analyzing the trailer, I will pay attention to the shorts from Dom Studio with deleted scenes from the fourth special episode, as they are important for understanding the future plot of the picture. In the first scene, before leaving, C Pen tells his father that maybe she will understand, since they used to be pen pals. Obviously, he was referring to the Titan Pencil Woman, with whom he will have a battle in the body of the Counter Titan in the 42nd episode. With them, by the way, there is one spoiler in the raw rendering, in which apparently Sea Titan knocked her down and is preparing to attack with the TV Titan Sword. I will talk more about this battle during the analysis of the trailer. And the second scene is much more interesting, because after the arrival of Male 09, a portal opens from which first comes a sphere that consists of pentagons, so I will call it the pentasphere, which expands the portal and a new representative of the master race comes out of it. He glows yellow, and since he doesn't have an official name at the moment, let's call him the Guardian. Obviously, he came here to fight Male 07 after C Pen reported this task to Romb. The Guardian has a rather imposing physique with disproportionately large arms, and on the back he has six limbs with some kind of device at the end. And I have one theory about him. In the race of Master, yellows rank higher than purple, which we could understand from the beginning of the fourth special episode. Therefore, although the description says that the Guardian is like the Counter Titan, a toy, it is possible that it is stronger than the Counter Titan, since in the 29th episode, Alpha said that the Counter Titan is not the strongest, but its master's favorite toy. Of course, I can't imagine how strong, albeit an alien Titan, you need to be to at least give a worthy rebuff to Male 07. But if the Guardian copes with this task, he will clearly take a high place in the top of the strongest. And with this, the yellow energy of transparency, which was endowed by C pen in the fourth special episode can help him. By the way, in the end, the spider controlling the counter titan also visited, apparently with the intention of seizing the guardian's body. I don't know exactly how he's going to do that, because if all the alien titans are controlled by the arthropods located in the core, then he's going to have to get to the core, throw out the spider sitting in the guardian, and take control of it himself. And you probably realize that this is not the easiest task. But even if the spider succeeds, it will not be a tragedy for the master, because when T-Rex answered questions from the audience in Discord, he said that the master has a huge number of such titans. Now it becomes clear why Male09 said through the checkmate that both the Skibidi Toilets and the Alliance are separately fucked. However, this is not the only reason, because T-Rex said another thing that is very important. Male09 saw Alpha's sister. It turns out that all this time Alpha had a sister, whose name, it seems to me, is the name of another letter of of the Greek alphabet, for example, Omega or Lambda. At the moment, I can't say anything about her because all we know about her is the fact of her existence, so we are waiting for information about her in the next episodes. And finally, it's time to disassemble the trailer. It consists of four scenes, and apparently the episode will have three storylines. In the first, there is a battle between Sea Titan and Titan Pencil Woman. In the timeline of this storyline, this happens after Sea Pen's failed attempts to lure her to his side, after the events in the spoiler in the Raw 
surrendering and before she uses her rage mode, which was also announced by T-Rex quite a long time ago. In the trailer scene, Pencil Woman flies away and shoots C. Titan, but he doesn't care and responds with a shot from the Titan's cameraman wrist cannon. Next, we see her demonstrating her agility by dodging all of C-Pen's punches, after which her hand turns into an eraser, and when she stands face to face, the scene ends. Interestingly, several giant pencils flashed in the background, possibly an attempt to carry out an air attack on C-Pen, which apparently turned out to be a failure. And yes, Pencil Woman has a giant plasmatron on her back. The scene shifts to the TV base, where the camera Titan has received an upgrade in the form of an energy shield from the old episodes, as well as a sword. In addition, guns similar to those we saw in the original series were installed on the shoulders. However, he lost his gravity gun, which was a fairly effective and versatile weapon. But the TV Titan also received small improvements, namely updated claws and side TVs, and not very visible, but he also had something on his left hand, perhaps a new gun that shoots black holes, or simply a new sword. TV scientist says that's all they can do, and the special agents will join them later, after which Drill Dragon and Speaker Man Titan arrive and have been recovered, and before the scene ends, TV Man says, let's get this bastard out of his shell. This scene gives another clue to the fate of Titan Pencil Woman, because if the others went to repair and improve, then she will have to fight all alone with C. Titan, so the 42nd episode will be her finest hour. In addition, the background for these two scenes was the theme of G-Cruiser from their official music channel, Dom Music, and this hints that G-Cruiser will also have an important role in the episode. But okay, let's finally get to the fun part. The third scene begins with Clockman Titan flying into the frame, probably kicked by Sinister. The hero of the occasion himself says that the multiverse belongs to him, and it is quite logical to hear this from his lips, because in other answers to questions, T-Rex mentioned that while the Master is the biggest threat to the universe in which the main events of the series take place, Sinister is the greatest threat to the entire multiverse. He approaches, and under his feet, the energy of time breaks through all the cracks. Clockman Titan applies his time stop and, as he has done before, creates time trails with his sword. If this was indeed a time stop, then 24 hours had already passed since the dome was created in the 33rd episode. But Sinister did not even feel it, and he easily deflected the sword marks back into the Titan. He was about to protect himself with his wrist shield, however, he is completely covered by Clockman from the future who says that this is not what he saw in the future. And last but not least, the scene showcases a new character, Large Clock Woman. From the information that T-Rex provided in Discord, she is an analog of our Large Clock Man, but from a different universe. And her name is Aza. She says, Absolute Cinema. Well, that couldn't be good. And there had been a portal open behind her all this time. As it seems to me, the awakening of Sinister, who, as we saw in the last bloopers, can move through universes, somehow destroy or weakened the boundaries of the worlds, and now characters from different universes will get to the main one, and one of the first was Issa. The fight with Sinister will take up a significant part of the series, and there is a 90% chance that they will move through different universes, and in one of them, there may be someone who is able to give a good fight to Sinister, because, according to T-Rex, in the entire multiverse, there will be an explanation why Sinister has only one arm. Perhaps at the last moment, when the three of them were in the main universe, the Master would finally launch an invasion, and Sinister would be distracted by a couple dozen titans. There is also information that Sinister will get its own musical theme, the name of which is I Am The Time, and in the the teaser video for it, we see a non-standard clock, which has an inner dial where instead of numbers, there are zodiac signs and an external one with standard Roman numerals. I tried to look for meaning in them, but to no avail, so I'll leave this question to you in the comments. And who this watch belongs to? Probably Sinister. Why is it likely? Because from the last bloopers and the frame from the trailer, all three clocks that Sinister has, namely the head, the core, and the back, are different from this, so it could be a new character, maybe even one who is able to give a decent fight to Sinister. And finally, a little more information about the next episodes. The 42nd and 43rd episodes will contain events that have a total running time of about 40 minutes, and assuming that the 42nd will last 25 minutes, then the 43rd will be the second
second longest and will last about 15 minutes, after which the next episodes will be of the usual length. Also, in the 43rd episode, in one of Sinister's flashbacks, we will see Clock Chief. At this point, all the basic information that I wanted to convey ended. I hope you have learned something new, and now we have to wait for the release of this series, probably somewhere on the 20th of October, if we are lucky, on the 12th or 13th. Let me remind you of my personal game, Toilet Run, in which, playing from different agents, including Titans, you can run away and even fight with Skibidi Toilets. And that's all. Good luck to everyone. Bye, everyone.